did it. It didn't take too long. A couple more minutes, I promise. I didn't die again, I guess is the key. I didn't die again. There's the Witch King himself to kick my tail. Oh, really? You're all back? That's nice. That's cool. There, no, it's a different chick. This, this is the uh, Laura Bailey chick, the the assassin of Galadriel. Nice. Where have you been? Hanging out with us. You will not claim him to. Oh, damn. Pretty brilliant. If you kill him, he just respawns somewhere else. She understood that and just stabbed him. Stabbed him up. Yes. <laughs> Lord Sauron, we have the stone. Let's build an army. Want to give me the ring back now? No? <coughs> That's nice. Hello, Sauron. You're big and scary. The spider. Nice. Oh, dang. That's, uh, that's not good. speaking, if we're assuming that Shelob is a Maiar like Gandalf and the Baylor or Balrog, sorry, Balrog, Baylor is the D&D equivalent, uh, she would be more powerful than the, the Nazgul, but uh, eight versus one is not very nice odds. She has a lot of spider bros, so... Indeed. Uh, maybe it is. Uh, maybe it's pretty even, and she has my assistance as well. Mostly because I want the new ring back, and she has it. So we're kind of working together right now. One thing. Because the new ring does not technically exist in the the mythos of the Lord of the Rings, uh, is it must either by the end of the game be destroyed entirely, or I don't I don't know how they're gonna work it out like closure wise in the end with the ring, but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. You stab me. You killed me. I'm eating you. Did I live again? Do you pay? Do you suffer? What of the city? 
That's definitely Laura Bailey. She did the mocap too. So that's kind of cool. In case you didn't know. <clears throat> that's cool. I am the blade of Galadriel. She's cool, man. She's super cool. Got the like Legolas blades and stuff. Now, at this point, because this happens between the time frame of the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, so Legolas is alive in the woods of uh, in the Mirkwood, Mirkwood Forest. You're sharpening my sword for me. That's nice. Is that a new door? Okay. What? Yeah, I'm so confused. El Tariel is her name. Oh, dang. All right, where where are we going? Oh 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 no! Oh really? Where? Oh gosh! What is happening? I am so confused right now. I'm just following El Tariel because I don't want I don't want any any part of this. We're going this way? We're going this way. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. El Tariel. What's interesting about this one, because like a lot of times when people do the voice work, they uh, make the character look a little bit like the individual, just to make it easier for the uh, make it a little easier for the animators to get all the facial expressions and stuff right. But they didn't really do that for Altario. She looks. Different. Yeah. It's close, I suppose. Actually, it looks a little bit like Marisha Ray, if we're being honest. As far as the, uh, the overall setup. Yeah! Ah! Sorry. Sorry, Shelob. It had to be done. You're not particularly nice either. Ugh, it's so creepy to see. You okay? Where's the ring? Oh, that's cool. Really? We get Narya? I want Narya. <laughs> She's like, just like you take the ring back. I want nothing to do with that because the Nazgul are all after her, all up on my shit, and I don't like it. Is, is this what gives me my, my brandy powers? Nice. Okay, it is. It is. That's the key. 
Can I just brand? You get the ability. I noticed you can unlock, you unlock the ability probably right here to brand captains. So I don't know if that is something that like can you only brand captains? Can you brand the little piddly dudes as well? <laughs> it's my birthday and I want it. It is precious to us. Okay, cool. So he does... I gotcha. That makes sense to me. We were just talking about that earlier. Hmm. I like her accent. I like, I like, I like what Laura has done with El Tariel. Apparently there is a DLC that is entirely based... That is like entirely based around her. So that's kind of neat as well. New region unlocked. Oh, that's not. What is that? There's a couple places. <laughs> it could be. Oh, something new that I w that I did off screen that we haven't had a chance to talk about yet is the. Uh, Outposts, yeah. Outposts are areas that are full of uh, full of enemies and stuff. You can draw out their captain or chief or whatever and kill him and then the outpost uh, sort of goes away and it becomes a little easier to traverse the zone. There's not as many enemies spawned. Hey Bella, do you want to go outside again? No? You're going to have to wait a minute. I'm almost done. I, I assure you. I want to at least showcase the new place. The new location. And then we'll have some time to go get all of the uh, extra doodads in it. Which I'll do that off screen because there's no need to show all that. You go to the thing, you get the thing. Easy peasy. If it's blurry, you unblurry it. If it's uh, memory, you rotate it until you get the right picture. I want to leave you guys some stuff to do on your own, you know? <clears throat> That's cool. The force of Karnan. Come on, get away from the wires. Sorry, guys. Chill out for me. It's gonna be all right, okay? It's gonna be all right. Go lay down. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Oh, Act Two. Yes! Act 2 is good. Act 2 gives us neat stuff. Hello! It's such a weird place to wear the ring, man. Hold. You can stealth dominate? Yes! All draining abilities now dominate the target as does interrogating worm. That's beautiful. Our greatest assets are the power of the ring and stealth. If possible, we should remain undetected until we have tilted the odds in our favor. Okay, you got it. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. That's a B. 
beautiful. All right, right at the top. The key here, beautifulness that this is, is we can now build a massive army. Strain everybody. Right? It's going to be awesome. So, till next time. Bon Vituna. We'll see you next time.